This season, um, the writers have decided to kind of rip themes and stories from the headlines of what's happening now in America and in the world, and to do in a very small way, obviously, you know, because you can't encapsulate these issues or these um, topics in 42 minutes of television, which is basically what an episode lasts. But certainly, it's really cool to see the writers not just keeping it in the kind of soap opera world of our show, but actually going, you know what, we're going to, you know, tell this story and see how our characters try and navigate these very difficult times in our hospital and kind of reflect back on how things are going now. And I think you'll see in the episode that airs this week that I directed, you know, Jackson, the character of Jackson, Jesse's character, it's his father who has been accused. It brings up a lot of many, many intense feelings for him because it's his own father who he loves, but now and he's passed away and all this posthumously has come out about the way his father conducted his life. He's also the, the, the owner of this estate and this kind of, um, what do they call it, fund. Uh, so he has a responsibility to try and right the wrongs of his father. And he doesn't quite know how to how to cope and how to strategize and how to what to do the right thing and what is you know what is the right thing. It's kind of dealing with okay on a, in a you know this is a huge hospital and a network of other hospitals and this behavior was going on for many many years and was left unchecked. And how do you clean up that mess correctly to to honor everybody involved, all the victims? And I think. This episode that airs really deals with that in a, in a really profound way, I think, you know. Uh, so I'm proud of it. I'm proud to have directed it.